All morning, Local 4's Grant Herms has been sorting fact from fiction after the debate ended. And Grant, one of the more contentious topics was the topic of taxes from the president to the middle class. Can you break it all down for us? Well, the issue of taxes, specifically the president's taxes, have taken a back seat since the president's COVID diagnosis, but where each campaign stands on their own tax plans was definitely worth taking a closer look at last night. We'll start with this claim on the president's taxes from Senator Harris. That Donald Trump paid $750 in taxes. We now know Donald Trump owes and is in debt for $400 million. We're calling both of these true based on extensive reporting from the New York Times, which was able to review portions of the president's taxes. The president has not released his tax returns publicly. According to the reporting, the president personally owes $421 million to lenders worldwide, although does not detail who he owes every dollar to. Next, there's this claim that sparked a back and forth between Harris and Pence. Joe Biden will not raise taxes on anyone who makes less than $400,000 a year. He has been very clear about that. This is true. According to multiple statements made by Biden, he has pledged not to raise taxes on those making less than $400,000 a year. According to an analysis of his plan by the Wharton School of Business, the president's alma mater, Biden's plan doesn't raise taxes until you get to the top 1% of earners. We'll take these next two from the vice president together. President Trump cut taxes across the board. Despite what uh, Senator Harris says, the average American family of four had $2,000 in savings in taxes. Both are broadly true, but need more explaining. According to both the Tax Policy Center and the Progressive Institute for Taxation and Economic Policy, the Trump tax plan from 2017 did cut taxes for every income bracket in 2019. However, the largest benefit went to large corporations and the top 5% of income earners. On the savings, it appears Pence is using the TPC's findings, which show those making between forty dollars to $75,000 a year saved roughly $720 to $990 per income. Assuming Pence's definition is a family of four as a double income home, that tops out just under $2,000. And even though we have less than a month, some of the estimates of both tax plans are still subject to change, especially Biden's. Other independent firms are still assessing the long-term effects of the plans from both campaigns.